Welcome back to Science Sundays. This week we are exploring the question, does ice melt faster in tap water or in salt water? Well, the answer may actually surprise you. Our friend Michelle Roy, the science coordinator at the Kern County Superintendent of Schools, has this week's experiment. Let's do our experiment. Both cups um, are at room temperature. The uh, temperature in the two cups is the same. I've got some ice um, from my freezer. And I've also got my blue food coloring just because we tend to, uh, you know, to, to replicate that watercolor that we see out in nature. And then I've also got my paper towels because we're gonna, we might make a mess. So three ice cubes in each cup and I'm going to drop kind of lightly and not stir there. And then just observe what's going on. Um, I'd let this sit for about three minutes and see what happens. And I'm going to drop just a couple little drops on top of my ice. One, two, and on top of the ice here, same amount. So check it out. And you know, in science, we like to ask those two famous notice and wonder questions. What do you notice and what do you wonder about what is happening um, in these two cups? And you know, right now, I'm noticing a definite difference in what's going on in the two cups, right? The cold, icy water um, sank to the bottom and that warmer water rose to the top, which created the mixing in our freshwater cup. Whereas over here in our salt water, we've got that cold, icy water still just sitting up on top because the salty water is actually more dense than that cold fresh water, you know, ice is fresh water, sitting there on top, uh, literally providing almost like this nice cushion uh, for that um, food coloring to just sit on. It's been a lot of fun doing science with you. Good luck trying this out at home. You can check out this full experiment on our website, turnit23.com forward slash science Sundays, where Michelle goes more into depth on the science behind what's happening here. Their teachers will also have access to Michelle's presentation slides and video links detailing ways that you can advance this experiment for older students. We'll see you next week.